Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an FTP server on a Hamachi network using a using Hamachi as your VPN to connect. Alright, first what we need to do we need to uh, go ahead and start Hamachi and go ahead and have it connected already. And we're going to go down here to create a new network. And now you need to pick a unique name for this. Alright, and then you need to assign it a password. And you need to remember what this is. If it's, if it's already taken, you'll get a warning saying that. But if it's unique, then you should be able to connect. Alright, so we have that. Next, we need to, I'm going to drag this up to the top. And next, we need to open uh, XM Control Panel if you're using that. If not, you can start uh, FileZilla Independent. And uh, you want to install this as a service, okay? Yes. Now you can choose whether or not you want it to auto start. We're just going to choose no and start server, yes. All right, and it sh should say that it is running. Now we want to click the admin, and then click OK here. All right, you should see a window, something like this, pop up. Let me resize this right. All right. Now I want to disconnect it real quick. And then we want to go to Edit Settings, and you can change this port to anything between these numbers if you want, or just leave it on the default 21. And then we want to go to IP Bindings, and you should have a star there. You want to just remove the star and then type in your Hamachi IP address. And as you can see, I already did that, so we're good to go. And just click OK. Next, we want to create a user. Uh, make sure you have a user account or a uh, want to have a user account, set it up so uh, your new user, your whoever it is that is going to be connected to you, has a uh, has somewhere they can connect. Now you know, give them their permissions. Uh, you can give them all all the permissions if you want. Depends on how much you trust them, and then uh, click OK once you're done there. Now, if you uh, if you want to set a password for them, click that and then enter a password. And we're just going to click OK. All right. So now our now we click uh, the lightning bolt there to turn it back on, and now we wait for somebody to give uh, somebody the information so they can connect to this. And I'm going to do that now. All right, so now I have somebody connected to me, and they're going to connect to me via their uh, FTP client, and I should see where they connect by watching the status window here. All right, and there you go. You can see the that anonymous somebody signed on with an anonymous account tells you all the information, and now they're connected to me even tells you their IP address and that is how you use Machi to create a VPN and a FTP server